In this lesson, you'll learn how to develop options menus for your Android apps. The menus page on the developer's website is shown here, and this is a good resource for background and details about menus, including options menus. The menus are a common and important user interface component. They provide a convenient way for users to select options for app actions in addition to navigation buttons built into the app screen displays. And there are three basic types of menus options menus, context menus, and pop-up menus. So let's look at options menus, and we'll cover the other two in the next lessons. In the contents overview on this page, click on creating an options menu. And beginning with Android 3.0, API level 11, Android devices are no longer required to provide a dedicated menu button, and Google is encouraging developers to migrate away from a dependence on a traditional six-button menu, such as shown here, and instead provide an action bar to present common user actions, such as the one shown here. To see how options menus work, let's check out an options menu API demo. Using the demo's worksheet, let's find the options menu entry, and we'll filter the demo name for options to do that. Actually, we have filter on. We can just click here. And we find an entry at line 62, and we see the Java code name is fragment menu. So let's first fire up the demo. We'll click on app, fragment, and menu. And the demo builds menus from two fragments. And when there isn't room in the action bar up here for the second menu, it's replaced with a drop down menu. So if I uncheck both, there's no menu shown. If I check menu one, we get the two options for menu 1A and 1B. And if I check only fragment two, we have the menu here that shows up. So Android is managing the options menu availability on the action bar, and we'll look at action bars in a coming lesson. Now in the app source, let's open fragment menu. It's in the app group. So we come down to fragment menu, open that. And I'm going to skip over the code on fragments as they'll be covered in a separate lesson. So we'll focus on the code pertinent to creating the options menu. At line 106, the set has options menu setting to true is used to indicate that there's a menu associated with the first fragment. In line 110, we have the onCreateOptions menu method that sets up the menu items using the add method twice, once in 111 and once in 112. And notice the show as action if room attribute that tells the Android system to show this item as a button in the action bar if the system decides there's room for it. As we see over here, that's the button. In lines 124 and 129, we have the same code for the other fragment. And the options menus are then displayed by the system when the fragment they're associated with is displayed depending on the status of the checkboxes, which are processed in the update fragment visibility method starting in line 87. To respond to the selection of an options menu item by the user, use the on options item selected method. And let's take a look at how to do that. How to respond to options menu item selection is explained on the developer's website in the API guides, user interface, on the menus page. In the document summary to the right under creating an options menu, click handling click events. And this shows an example of using an override of the on options item selected method where you would respond based on the item ID, which you retrieve using the get item ID method here for the menu item in the parameters. And then you can use a switch method to activate the code you want to associate with each item ID. As an aside comment, you'll see lots of code examples like this on the developer's website, and they make a good combination with the API demos. 
The API demos give you a good working base of code into which you can insert additional code, such as this code for handling option item selections. And when you add code blocks to your base code, you're likely to have to do a bit of debugging to get the new app code to work properly. And you can review our previous lessons on debugging in Eclipse if you need a refresher on these topics. That's our lesson on options menus. We'll look at other types of menus in the next lessons.